Hello traders, welcome to today's video. And in this video, we're going to talk about premium and discount pricing in the forex market. How you can identify this premium and discount price and what tool I utilize when identifying premium and discount price. So well, this video is going to be in two series. In this first series, we're going to be it's going to be in two series. So in this first series, we're going to talk about um, diagrammatic um, explanation. So I'm going to show you in diagrams and just explain just the rough surface of what premium and discount pricing is. And then in the second series, we're going to do, um, go to the live market and look at premium and discount pricing on the live chat. So without further ado, let's dive straight into the video. So basically on the screen, what we can see is that we have an uptrend and a downtrend, right? So as a retail trader, they are basically theory um, form of trending market. We have the uptrend, downtrend, and consolidated market. So in an uptrend, the market is going to be creating highs, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. And in a downtrend, the market is going to be creating a series of lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, right? And then we have what we know as a consolidated market, which is a sideway market where the market just creates what we know as equal highs, equal low. Okay, the market is going to do something like this. So you can see that the market is creating equal highs, equal lows, equal highs, equal lows, equal highs, equal lows. So in this kind of market is not a consolidating market or the accumulating phase, right? The market is accumulating a lot of orders. It's, so a lot of traders have a lot of technical uh, insight about this. I just try to stick to the uptrend and the downtrend. Basically, I um, in my years of trading, I've come to realize that the best way to make money or the easiest way to make money in the forest market is to stick to the basics. Right, stick to the basis, do not overcomplicate your trading, and you know, this becomes very simple. So, this is an uptrend, and this is a downtrend, right? And, when, and I've shown you guys how you can identify this uptrend and downtrend, right? So, basically, why did I draw this up? Well, the idea is when you're looking at premium and discount level, is that the premium level, okay, that is the highest level you, uh, of um, price you can get in, in the you know, in a, in a downtrend. And the discount level is the highest price you can get in a uptrend, okay? So I'm gonna explain it in details. So let's, let, let's take a look at um, what premium and discount level is, right? So premium, uh, you know, price in the market is where a lot of sellers are looking, are looking to take the sell, right? They are looking to take sales at premium level and they're looking to take discount I think that to take buys at this kind of level. So you can pretty much say that a discount is the lowest price where there's a lot of buyers, right? So that will be you can actually you could use another word for discount at as demand, right? The lowest point in the market where you have a lot of buyers is demand because demand is where a lot of buyers are looking to take a buys from. The highest price in the, the highest point in the market where you get a lot of sellers is known as premium. That's the price where a lot of sellers, which is supply, it's the price where a lot of sellers want to sell off. So the tool I use to to, um, to find my premium and discount level is the GAN Boss tool. Okay, and you can find it right here. All right, you can see the tool right here, GAN Boss tool. So I'm going to draw it out so y'all can see. All right. And I'm going to show you my settings so you can, uh, you know, make yours like mine. So I left the zero, the one, and the 0 0.5 on, and the background. And then we had, uh, yeah. So these are the values on my gun boss, and you can set yours like this. So without further, without wasting more any time, let's talk about the gun boss too, right? So this purple level up here is a premium okay this is premium okay well let me spell that right okay that's premium and this level right here this blue level right here is discount okay Okay, so you have the premium level and then you have the discount level. Okay, so 
what does this mean? Like I said, I said um, the premium level is the highest level in the market where you have a lot of sellers, where a lot of sellers want to sell off. So you can take your premium level as a supply level, and you can take your discount level as the price, as the lowest price in the market where a lot of buyers are interested to go long. So that is your demand, right? So how do we use this tool to improve our trading overall? So let's say we are in an uptrend, okay? So let me bring out this um, diagram. So let's say we are in an, we are in, um, an uptrend, right? So market is creating a series of um, higher highs and higher lows, higher highs and higher lows, higher highs higher highs and higher lows. So typically what a lot of traders would tend to do is that they wait for the market to break this high, okay? They wait for the market to break this high, create a new higher high, then they will take their red, uh, the red angle two, and they are going to draw at this level, as a level where they are waiting for price to come back. This is the resistance or this is the high, they wait for price to retrace back into that resistance um, Possibly turn support and take the buy from uh, from that level when you know in an uptrend. So, but what basically tends to happen is that it, um, the market is going to sometimes, not all the times, okay. So to try to avoid the scenario where you get stopped out, uh, you know, in this kind of market, uh, you know, play, sometimes the market is going to dip down into a level into a level around this, uh, you know, around here, maybe there's a lot, there's a, there's a demand right here. Market is going to dip back into, or dip down into that demand and invalidate this, um, you know, high, this resistance, right? Which we're looking to turn support, dip down, take orders from that demand and move back up. So a lot of traders will be, oh, okay, why did it, why did the market not respect this high and why did it not reverse from this high okay so let's say as traders we trade this way right but the most um i've come to see that the the best way to do this and be profitable is to utilize your gun boss tool because it will show it to tell you and to give you a clear picture where you can get the premium level and the discount level from okay so if i take my gun boss tool right right here okay just for this example take my gun boss tool like i said this purple level is premium and this blue level is discount right so if i take my gun boss tool i can clearly see that price is still trading at premium okay so i'm going to identify this as p all right premium and this as the discount, okay? So as long as price is still trading um, and the, on the, you know, around this premium zone, I'm not interested to take the, the, the you know, the buy. I want to wait for price to get to the lowest level in the market where I would get a lot of buyers to take the sell, to take the buy from. So what I, like, what I said, the market is going to do what? It's going to sometimes make its way back into a level right here where we have demand, right? Makes its, level back, makes its way back into this level, which is also, okay, going into discount, all right? And then before making the move to the upside. So this, we get to see this every single um, day in, on, you know, in the live market. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you guys how it works in the live market day in, day out. Okay, but in this video, let's just stick to um, this diagram representation of the live market, right? So we had the market, we had the we had that we expected price to react from this high, right? But naturally, due to the fact that this high is trading, um, you know, around the premium level, around premium price, market is sometimes going to, um, you know, invalidate this high, get. Um, you know, come back down, find demand, and then move, uh, you know, to the upside. So this is an example of what we get to see um, in an uptrend. So let's, let's let's talk about what we get to see in a downtrend. The same a scenario, price is creating a series of low, lower highs, low, lower highs, low, uh, lower highs, right? So we are in a downtrend, right? 
A lot of traders will tend to do is that they will tend to take the sell immediately price breaks and comes back to retest um you know previous low okay the moment price breaks the low comes back to retest previous low which this low is support um, possibly um, turn resistance once price gets back to retest this um low they take the sell from there but like i said if this low is trading in discount we're not looking to trade from that level because the, we are looking to trade uh, to take a sell once price gets the premium so if i draw my gun boss to from this high to this low there we can see that we have discounts right and then we have premium okay so I'll, i'm waiting for price to get to premium uh, the premium price before looking to take my um you know my sell trade right because that's the highest level where i'll get a lot of sellers from right so what the market would tend to do is that it's a fine supplier and this um you know premium level right so it's going to make its way it's going to make its way to the premium level where where it's going to get um supply from right and then before making this move back to the downside. Now, this happens 80% of the time in the forest market, right? So to avoid a trade that goes against you due to the fact that you're not trading, um, you're taking the buy in a premium level, I use this tool to clearly identify premium and discount pricing. So pretty much so this is, uh, in, you know, in a nutshell, this is what premium and discount price is in the forest market. In the next video, I'm going to explain, I'm going to show you guys uh, on a live market how you can use this premium and discount tool to, um, you know, make more profit and improve your overall trading. So, without um, coming to an end of the video, if you want me to post a video showing you guys live market, how you can um, in to implement the strategy um like this video comment below saying um what you for series two and i'll do my best to upload the second series um about um premium and discount pricing so do not forget to subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next